I can't even talk. Hello, hi. Sorry, I'm, I'm all flustered because I've just come off the back end of a coughing fit. Um, I'm still a bit sick from whatever new fresh hell or plague we've gotten from nursery, from uh, Amina going to nursery and stuff. But anyway, hello, hi, welcome to today's stream. How are we? Stream you all right? More subscribers. Uh, I cannot hear those alerts as they're coming through, so I probably will disable those for today because today's live stream should be fun. We are doing Am I the Arsehole? which is a popular subreddit. So let me let me give you some examples, actually, of what Am I the Arsehole is all about. So these are like from the actual Am I the Arsehole subreddit, okay? So let's see. Um, is it called Am I the Arsehole or one word? Is it not? Is it gone? Surely not. Am I the Arsehole subreddit? Okay, here we go. So for example, one of them is, Am I the Arsehole for letting my mum choose a restaurant without checking with my sister if her boyfriend can afford it? And there's all these different life scenarios that people throw in here. They provide a lot of context, a lot of details, um, and there's some abbreviations that you might find helpful today. So often when they're telling these stories, they'll say like I29F and 
you know, 29M and stuff like that. So they'll mention genders slash, um, well, I guess it's just genders, yeah. Um, aside from that, they will say uh, NTA, which means not the asshole. They might say YTA, which is you're the asshole to the author of the post. Or they will say uh, ESH, which I'm pretty certain means equal share, like, like equal share. I don't know what the H stands for. Equal share equally equal share horrible i don't know what does esh stand for does anybody know oh it means everybody here sucks <laughs> so when both sides are uh are at fault then that's what that is so um i have got a bunch of videos prepared so the reason i've done this is because these come up on my tiktok all of the time not just for am i the asshole but also for reddit prompts as well uh writing prompts on reddit um so what i've done is i asked all of you guys to write various different um various different prompts as though you were characters from the life series without naming the characters um and writing something from their perspective and there were some really really good ones i've sourced just about all of these from tumblr as well i've slightly altered the captions on some of them if the text to speech was struggling or if i felt as though it was a bit too wordy and then there are a few in here that i wrote myself as well based on moments um that i could recall um the authors um of each one are quoted next to the silly username so there'll be a silly username for the poster and then next to it, there will be uh, the actual person who wrote it on Tumblr and stuff like that. So um, there we go. I've got how many in total? I've got... That says eight, but I'm sure there was more. Let me triple check before we get started. Uh, let me see. I thought there were nine. We're missing one. I guess we'll go along and we'll figure out which one we're missing. And I can just play it on um, on DaVinci Resolve instead. This will be fine. Um, so let me close down a few bits real quick here we go uh i did also download uh so i i went and recorded a bunch of footage myself but i just kind of forgot how bloody long it takes to get unique parkour footage like it is timely because the way that i've recorded these is i've got the message pops up the captions come up like they would on a typical tick uh, tiktok and then after that is then when um uh is then when the story uh, sorry the story comes up and then after the story is concluded um, that is then when uh, the gameplay continues. So I just needed so much raw gameplay footage. I could have just played Minecraft or something. Like, that might have been easier. Um, but yeah, so are we ready to get started? Does everybody understand the rules? So what we'll do is we'll listen to the prompt. We will um, hear the story out in full. Then i will maybe give my initial thoughts my initial opinions and then you guys can jump in and give me counter arguments play devil's advocate all that sort of stuff um we'll see how it goes oh cool nice portals uh pinned a you're the arsehole not the arsehole and then everybody here sucks good um <laughs> good also just real quick um frights thank you very much for, for becoming a member on youtube uh we've got queen chazzy with a brand new sub as well on twitch thank you very much we've got ask the shade with a brand new sub boop the beloved uh with the four months and also that one fangirl with the 12 months so for most of these i was able to guess who the person being referenced is but not every time so this should be interesting if I just uh, open the folder and select that one, will that just start playing them all? Okay, right, here we go. Let's start off um, Let's start off nice and simple, okay? We'll keep the music on in the background and we'll kind of go from there. Let me get the positioning here just right. Um, is that good? It is. In fact, I need to do one thing to make this work properly. I think I need to move the audio back onto system sound. Um let's move you back to system sound that does usually mean i have to restart vlc though which is tray annoying here we go um nice got that to there and we'll do open folder again and i'll select that folder all right cool so this one starts off um a little bit different okay Are you ready for this let's do it some am i the asshole traffic like series edition it will just kick in all of a sudden to so get ready for it I think it, this is this one's got a slightly longer intro, which I hadn't anticipated. But are we ready? It's, I think it starts in a few seconds. Oh! Am I the asshole for gaslighting an entire server for no real reason? So it all started at the beginning, where I got a secret task to quote, dig a big hole all the way down, 
at least 3x3, make it your base if you want. So I do as I'm tasked and begin to dig, when my friend, who I will refer to as Big Dog, found me in the middle of my hole. He asked what I was doing, and I panicked. I didn't want him to guess, so I flat out lied and said I was just mining. Then my other friend G came along, and I told him that I was digging a tunnel to the secret keeper. After that, it all just spiraled out of control. Any questions asked of me I would lie about. If Big Dog asked for an ally's location, I'd send him the opposite way. If someone needed materials, I'd lie that I was fresh out. I started putting signs in G's egg base that said I was watching him. I kept digging holes and made an underground series of tunnels with no purpose other than to confuse and unnerve those who entered. I think I even began believing my own lies. I'm starting to suspect Bartholomew and Bob are just armor stands with pumpkin heads. Am I the asshole for gaslighting everyone? Or was I just playing the game? Well, no, you're not just playing the game. Like, sure, the secret mission was, like, the first thing, okay? You've got, like, a one in, like, 99 chance of, like, not being the asshole here. But I, there's loads of NTAs in the chat. <clears throat> I would say that this person here is the asshole. It's a YTA from me. The first one, fair enough. It's your secret task. You keep it a secret. But after that, like, sending people in the wrong direction putting signs in people's bases to give them like absolute paranoia uh, creating like weird corridors and stuff like that like that none of that needed to happen and i can't understand how there's anybody just being like oh they just sound like a silly guy it was funny though you can you can be funny and an asshole cue up most comedians <laughs> you know what i mean it, it wasn't just being silly and what do you mean at the end it goes like oh it was just playing the game like i I don't get that. I don't get it. It's just playing the game. There's not just playing the game. If each one of those was a secret task, which I don't think it, it identified that it was, then it might not be so bad. If it said like, oh, one week I had to do this and one week I had to do that, then that's that. By the way, just to point out, chat, we're talking like in character here. Okay. So we're not talking about but content or, oh, but it was funny. Let, let's talk, like, I guess I forgot to mention that. Let's talk in world, you know. Imagine that we live in the same universe as this person who's written this post, yeah? So let's let's do a very light role play with it. But I don't know, man. I, I personally think that <laughs> justified asshole in one instance, in my opinion, I, yeah. <laughs> immediately there's been a flurry of people going okay in, if we if we're pretending to be in world then yeah you're the asshole <laughs> i love how much you would let somebody be an asshole in character for the sake of content that's good good for me to know as well good for me to know so okay it, it feels like we're all we're all more in agreement that this person is the asshole okay minimally justified asshole mja any other contributions any other rebuttals to this Confusion and secrecy is part of the game. It could have been a tactic to gaslight all the time, but it wasn't. So I guess you're the asshole. Yeah, that's the thing. I think these these posts always require a lot of context. Like if that was said, if that was said as like a, I'm just always going to keep people on their toes, never tell them the truth, but also not always lie to them, then that would give me a strong standing in the end. It'd be like playing traitors, wouldn't it? Like, you know, the BBC show traitors. It'd be a bit like doing that, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Everyone here sucks, to be honest. Explain that. I need to know why everybody here sucks. He was committing to the bit, but the paranoia and confusion he inflicted on the server was unnecessary. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. As long as it's funny or adds to the drama, speaking on a meta level, I'm okay with people being assholes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're, we're talking in character. We're not fourth wall breaking as much in this. Wow, Martin sucks at parkour. Yeah, I do, to be fair. <laughs> Everyone in the live series is an asshole character-wise. It's probably why they were all chosen to be in it, quite honestly. So, uh, yeah. Damn. Okay, so it feels as though the consensus is you're the asshole for this one. Y-T-A. That, that feels like where we've gotten to on this one. Let me, let me see some you're the assholes, some yeses and some noes in the chat. What's the general consensus here? Yep, lots of yeses. 
Very few no's. Not many at all. Yeah, it, it seems very heavily on the side of you're the asshole. Okay, good. Okay, good. Good. I'm glad. I'm, not, I'm, I'm glad it's not just me. I was a bit worried at first when we did that first one and you lot were all like, no, not the asshole. I was like, wait, hold on a minute. <laughs> it should have been apparent that I was wanting to keep it in character. I wouldn't just sit on stream and go, oh, yeah, you know what? Bigby's a real asshole. Oh, God. Like, God, isn't Impulse a real dick? Like, that that's just not a good business move ever <laughs> you know what i mean I, I i didn't realize i had to clarify that but the fact that i did means we're now all on the same level all right ready for your next one let's go for it some of these i feel like will be longer conversations than others i've left like 20 minutes of gameplay footage at the other end of this definitely didn't need quite that much uh right next one am then. i the asshole for telling my wife she should try my water slide hello idiot I'd been working on building a water slide when my wife came over to visit recently. She was acting a little weird, probably because it was night and there were stupid monsters hiding behind the trees. So I invited her into my house to hide. She seemed bored, which is impossible. My slide is the best build, so I suggested she go down the water slide. She agreed, but during the descent a skeleton shot her and she died instantly. Apparently she had a task from the secret keeper to agree to anything people suggested, and now I feel like it's my fault. I don't think she's too mad, but I still feel bad about the whole thing. Am I the asshole? Oh, you know what? I'm leaning towards, yes, you are the asshole. You let your pride and your hubris and all of that get in the way just to prove that your base was good came over was trying to get out of the way of the monsters that were in the dark outside and you were trying to bring them into the safety and sanctity of the home she said or oh, she seemed a bit bored and you were like well that's impossible to be bored that's when the ego flared up and then sent her outside back into the danger zone and honestly why was there a skeleton even within range do you not have fences around your water slide do you not have a sufficient lighting so that at any time of the day somebody can come along and use your water slide without fear of being turned into a pin cushion in my opinion i think that makes him the asshole i think there was i think there was corners cut and i think there was uh an ego trip happening that caused the death of somebody else it's a very long like convoluted way of getting there but that's that he didn't need to know about the task what do you mean he didn't know he didn't need to know that the task was to say yes to everything that they're proposed he didn't propose anything dangerous he just knew that it was like slightly janky so that, that's my take on it there's a lot of ntas I'm, I'm gonna need to see some justifications for the ntas the skeleton wasn't his fault since fences would be useful against skeletons doing long range make your fence wider Make the gap bigger. Make it so big and lit up so well for enough of a distance that nothing could ever possibly spawn. Do you realize how much health and safety theme parks have to go through to get an attraction up and running in our Lord and Savior's year 2024? It's a lot of work. You eliminate all risks. And that's not what this person did. That's not what this person did. Not the asshole. It was an accident. Accidents happen. But I feel through negligence. I feel as though you created an environment at which, in which people could get hurt. That's my take on it. I feel like chat are very combative on this one. I like it though. Not the arsehole, but go to therapy. <laughs> what for though? For therapy for like what? Not needing validation from others about your builds? Or for not feeling as though everybody has to be having fun all the time? Like what? what is it? He didn't force her to go down the slide. Uh, he keeps circling back to this. The slide was dangerous. The area was dodgy. All of it. Couples therapy. You know what? Fair. Yeah, couples therapy would work. And especially if he's still holding on to this as well. Or they. It, it, it could be her. He said wife. He didn't say who this person was. So yeah, it could be... They could do couples therapy. Because if they're still holding on to this, then that could be addressed. This feels like it's a. This it feels like it's the creaking open of the door to maybe what are other issues, and the fact that they can't get a read on their wife as to whether they're actually mad or not probably means that there's a, a slip in communication somewhere as well. Anyway, I'm changing my thing from "you're the asshole" to "everybody here sucks." There's clearly poor communication in this entire marriage. They should just get divorced. 
I don't know how we've ended up here, chat, but we have. We, we've ended up at they should get divorced. That's how it's all gone. That's, this is how it's gone. Damn. So, let me see the votes. Are we uh, YTA for you're the arsehole? Are we an NTA for not the arsehole? Are we an ESH for everybody here sucks? Or are we a GT for get therapy? It's, it's either or. There's still so many NTAs. Damn. Wow, this one's a mixed bag. <laughs> There's a lot more GTs coming through now, though. <laughs> I feel like if I put any of them on TikTok, this would be the one. Because this clearly has people very, um, very mixed up and very uh, confused and conflicted. Very funny. <laughs> We're getting through these way quicker than I ever anticipated, but this is fine. We can always pull up more or we can just move on to regular Am I the Arseholes later in the stream. And I can just play the maps in real time. <laughs> okay, right. Ready for the next one? Let's do it. Am I the asshole for trying to divorce my friends to recruit one of them to my cult? I mean, company? Mm. I, 33 male, tried to divorce my friends S, 28 male, and J, 27 male. They were really lovey-dovey and it was honestly annoying. Anyway, they were too attached to each other and I didn't really like S. He was honestly an asshole. He wasn't good for J. <laughs> I needed more people to join mine and my liege's company kingdom. So I got J into a corner and tried to convince him that his husband didn't like him and said horrible things about him behind his back. He didn't believe me. I tried to reassure him that I only wanted what was best for him but he told me to back off. I was hurt by this. Would he really choose that snarky asshole over his best friend? I really tried my best to gaslight him, but he was having none of it. A little while after, me and my liege tried to ally with them both instead. They told us no. After this, we went to war with them. Oh. I honestly don't think I'm the asshole as I only wanted what was best for my best friend. But what do you guys think? Well, I... It's going to be a controversial statement here. I'm seeing lots of YTAs here. Lots of people calling this person the arsehole. I'm going to go with not the arsehole. Bros before hoes and bros before bones. It's it's an age-old rule. It's an age-old tradition. And this friend, supposed friend, completely went against that. And why wouldn't they want to join the company, the kingdom, whatever it is? Why not? I think they should. Your friends know you better than your partner ever will in those early stages. And if they can see that they're a wrong gun from the get-go, it's not nice doing the hat, told you so, anything like that. I think the friend should have listened to the friend. I think the friend should have listened to the author. Are you biased? No, this isn't me. So, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, man. You're the asshole if you have to gaslight people to make your point. Your point is invalid. No, but some people need to see the world through a different lens. That's why you have to sort of tell a little white lie and then when that person rebuttals it and all the truth comes out it's like it's like poking at the beehive right poking it's not pleasant and it's not nice and you might get stung but at least you know this all this all goes through they were husbands how is that early stages they got married fast i don't know what to tell you they were married after the first day i i saw an edit on the post afterwards and they said because they were answering people's questions. They want a bit more context. And yeah, they got married after a day. So this was like a shotgun wedding. This was a shotgun wedding. Felt a bit culty. Felt a bit, um, you know, a bit, bit weird and a bit rushed. So I don't know, man. <laughs> Everyone here sucks and get therapy. I love that we've just made GT a, a, a default one as well. It sounds like op defending themselves. Not going to lie, Martin. I'm... I'm we just clearly have the same opinion on some things. What a coinky dink. He wanted him... Uh, he wanted to... What? He wanted him to get it for his own gain. It was a, It was for selfish intent. But not if he thinks that both parties would benefit, right? If you knew that you could win the lottery and you could share those numbers with a friend, you would, right? Justified arsehole. I like that one. I like where this is going. 
YTA don't start a war. Now, this doesn't, it didn't say in the post that this was the, the cause of the war. It's just they ended up on different sides of a war from how it sounds. So, we, yeah, we won't skip over the war bit. We'll, we'll address that head on. So, a war happened. I mean, I guess this just did that whole bloody stick in the water. But that's not actually the full saying. And it actually means the opposite when you read the whole thing. Yeah, but if you only read half of it, then it means one thing. Jay needs therapy. Jay gets married a lot, right? This is Jay's third marriage. So, th th that's also an element to, to play into this. Everybody needs therapy if there was a war. True. Yeah, this is this is a big GT from me. I'm going NTA and GT for this one. Because I feel like they do need to learn some better communication methods. So let's tally it up in the chat. NTA, YTA, GT, ESH. What are we thinking? Wow. Really? That many YTAs and GTs? <laughs> Damn. YTA op ended up dragging his liege into the troubles as well. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Damn. GT is the answer to all of these. Oh, yeah, 99% of the time it is. Yeah, I would imagine so. Damn. What shaders are you using? Uh, I think this was complementary shaders. I don't know what settings I toggled for it. I wanted it to look a little bit more glowy, but I just couldn't get it to work properly. All right, well, there you go. Next. Oh, is this another one with a, a long start? If Am I'm... I the asshole for murdering my best friend and some other random dude in cold blood? So I, 33M, am besties with this one guy, 27M, who I think is a fish, but that's not really relevant. Let's call him S. Sure. Anyway, S and I had been living together for a couple of weeks, and I think he was really starting to trust me. I mean, to be fair, I'm a pretty loyal guy, or at least that's what my old boyfriend, 41M, <laughs> used to tell me all the time. <laughs> I guess we're technically still dating, but Wait. I haven't seen him in a while. Anyway, so I glommed onto S, and we became best friends pretty quickly. <laughs> There's a bit of context needed for the next bit. See, we've all kind of been tossed into to this Hunger Games-esque death game thing a couple times sure. now. And this was the fourth run. S had already won one of the past death games, and I'd almost won a few at this point. So I was going to do whatever I could to win. Sure. And in this one, the deal was that we got 24 hours to live. Every time we died, we'd lose an hour off our timer. And every time we killed someone, we'd gain 30. So we killed a lot of people, right? Killed a lot of people a lot of times. S and I made a great team, I'll admit it. And I kind of did enjoy having him around. But it got to the point when he, the random dude mentioned in the title, 42 Mem, let's call him V, and I were the only ones left alive. S proposed an honorable duel because that's just kind of the vibe he tends to go with <laughs> he's sure. really into the idea of fairness and sticking it to the man and that kind of thing so where these death games are supposed to be chaotic and bloody he tries to make them as neat and orderly as possible which i'll be honest isn't really my thing Fair. so i agree but then as soon as s and v have taken their armor off i pull out a bucket of lava from behind my back and burn them alive wow i feel kind of bad for betraying s but it's a death game and he honestly shouldn't have been so trusting in my opinion but yeah i really need to know am i the asshole man that is a loaded one right so you've got you've got a boyfriend who you've not seen in a while but you still consider a boyfriend so it's not an ex your best friends with a fish and then at the end you and some other dude are about you're at the end of a death game i i would probably say not the arsehole i'm actually pleasantly surprised at how many ntas i can see in the chat me and chat have been clashing today but yeah it seems as though if you're in a death game everybody knows the rules you know bevo says it you know the rules big up the egg eight out of ten you know, even Bevo knows the rules. So why wouldn't these two other guys know the rules? It feels justified in my opinion. 
Sounds like you've had a good game. Sounds like you all got to the end. Look how loyal that is. Getting to the end with your best friend. Getting to the end with your mate. That sounds pretty damn good to me. That sounds like you've gone as, as long as possible without pulling the trigger. But when it comes down to it, you've got to. True, it was done in a bit of a sneaky manner. But he who dares wins. You know what I mean? So, that's fine. They wanted to branch away from... The, the, the premise of the game and turn it into something a bit more like a, like a coin flip or make it more even. But nah, you take your advantages. War doesn't always favor everybody. Mm. Who let Op have the mic? I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea. Seems like S was likely to win again, so not the arsehole for wanting to win. True. Might as well share the wealth, right? Not the asshole. SMV killed people who had killed people, as the saying goes. If you kill a murderer, the number of murderers stays the same. But if you kill two, that's better. True! We were working on the ratios. That's what it is. You're the asshole. Cheated on your boyfriend with a fish is low, man. <laughs> I don't think we've got a Kanye situation on our hands. I don't think there's any fish sticks going on here. Oh, man. Equal share... Uh, sorry, everybody here sucks. Shouldn't have tried to break the rules. But, but there's no... The, the rules are kill each other. There's no rules being broken there. It just sounds like Op just went for it. Op was just decided, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll get rid of these two and we'll be done with it. Blame the creator of the game. That's it. Don't hate the players. Hate the game. True. Was a quick death, not the arsehole. True, right? Very quick finished finished in no time how do i know that they, they put it in the edit they replied to a comment let's pretend no arseholes here it's a death game right it's it's either you or them cool i'm happy with that right final votes nta yta gt esh what you got for me a lot of ntas <laughs> I love that J-A-A-H is coming in as well. Justified asshole. Do we have the context about how S felt betrayed? You can't feel anything if you're dead. What a silly question. Damn. <laughs> Not the asshole, but everybody goes to therapy. It seems like it's mostly an NTA and of course, as always, get therapy. Next! Am I the asshole for killing three yellows when I wasn't supposed to? The title sounds bad, but hear me out. So I, 25M, am in one of those death games, but this one is based on time instead of the lives. I recently became yellow and I've been itching to take advantage and get some kills. So when I saw one, let's call him Jay, distracted in a group conversation with some yellows right below the rock where my team's base is, I acted fast. I just put down a couple of rails and shoved a TNT card off. I had thought that I had aimed well enough to kill Jay and not the other yellows, but I was wrong. In fact, I killed all three yellows there, and Jay didn't even die. Oh. To make matters worse, one of the yellows was my mom. Oh! And another one was actually unconscious. I might have kidnapped him, but that's another story. Oh. Third guy was Ally of Jay and a sleep guy. At first, I thought it was fine. I was actually pretty excited about the kills. It meant I was going to get an hour and a half of life back. But then, Jay and my brother, who watched what happened, started yelling at me that I wasn't supposed to do that. I still think it wasn't that big of a deal. It's not like they lost a whole life, just an hour. What do you guys think? Am I the asshole? Oof. Uh, that, that's a tricky one. You don't you don't just accidentally drop a a minecart on people, do you? And also, yeah. Do you know what tomorrow is? You can't just be killing your mum. You can't do that. It's not his mother's day tomorrow. You can't be just be killing your mum out here. It doesn't matter if you're going for somebody or not. And it also said, like, you weren't supposed to kill any yellows yet. So, like, were you also yellow? Were you a green still? Like, I, I don't understand what was going on. Not the asshole. It was a mistake. But but who, though? You're the asshole. Follow the rules. Gross negligence. Yeah. Yeah. Not the asshole. It was an accident for killing the yellows. He was going after Jay. Yeah, but if I saw somebody... If I saw a bunch of people stood around Jay, I wouldn't just lob a grenade at Jay. I'm very aware that there is a blast radius and there is collateral damage and everything else in between. You know what I mean? By the way, I don't even know 100%, by the way, just breaking character for a second, if this is actually Scar. 
I just assumed it was. Because there was only a few of them that called Cleo Mum during this. So I'm not entirely sure. It is. Okay, cool. Right, right. Back, back into character. Back into character. They shouldn't have stood still. You people are amazing, chat. What do you mean, don't stand still? You can't just live your life it's strafing. This isn't like Halo or something. You, you don't have infinite stamina. No chance. The yellow kills were unintentional, but you killed the kidnapped person and your mother, so you're the asshole. Yep, fair. Not the asshole. It just sounds like Op was trying to have a good time. If that doesn't sound like the most frat boy excuse for something ever. <laughs> I just got the ick from reading that one comment. Damn. You're the asshole. You killed your mum uh, and an unconscious kidnapped person. The collateral was too bad so what would have been a reasonable amount of collateral so jay not dying but maybe going to low health what what would have been a, a, an all right amount oh have you guys got ads i think some people on twitch have got ads we'll wait for them to come back g was green too dead too unconscious god that's a high bar that's a high threshold you're going for Oof. Damn. One max, maybe a few unconscious. That's the thing for me, right? I don't think I'd want to take any time off of anybody. I think I would only want to make them go unconscious and that be it. Or just do a, just do a fair whack of damage. You send a bit of a message. You get Jimmy... Uh, you, sorry, not Jimmy. You get Jay's legs wobbling. Makes them easier to hunt later on. It comes at the expense of a few hearts for, from your friends. But, you know, they'll recover. They'll get over it. The, sc the scars will heal. That's fine by me. Justified asshole. When you only have a certain amount of time to live, you do anything to get that time back. Bit assholey for killing your mum and an unconscious person, though. Yeah, it sounds like it's a it's a mid ground. Who's this Jimmy character? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. I read I read the name in chat and just I did a Ron Burgundy. Damn. Right, Twitch. Can you, uh, I guess I guess they won't know, will they, until they come back? All right, then. This this one seems to be mostly a you're the asshole, but I want to see a final tally on this. So what, what are everybody's thoughts on this one? YTA, NTA, GT, ESH, what are we thinking? Whoa, this one's heavy. This one's heavy on YTA. Damn. <laughs> you guys are going in. YTA, fucking sociopath. Jeez. There's some strong feelings on this one. Holy. YTA, justice for mum. Yeah, fair. Fair, fair, fair. He has no idea about the poll, apparently. The polls take too long to go through. So I'm going just purely off of uh, off of chat messages. I think that's the most sensible way to navigate this. You know what I mean? Kidnap, murder, and what's, what's matricide? Matricide. Is that like the cold side of the pillow, but with the whole bed? Oh, the killing of one's mother. Matricide. Wait, wait, hold on. Can't hear that. I want to hear how that's pronounced. Uh. Oh, it is matricide. Okay, fair. Damn. All right. Ready for another one? Let's go. Am I the asshole for ditching my soulmate? About a year or two ago, I, 28M, entered this Hunger Games type of thing where we all battled to the death. We had like three lives and each time we died, we went down another color. The catch was that our lives were linked to another person, like a soulmate situation. So at the start of the game, we all went around looking for who our soulmate was. Any group I went into, we tested if they were my soulmate and every time it was no. I did end up pairing with my friend who we'll call ZC, 42F, but we weren't soulmates. I ended up getting really worried about how everyone else is getting paired up. But eventually me and ZC figured out who our soulmates would have been, P, 27F, and M, 33M. Okay. Both of, of them went here. to the nether, and since everyone else had found their soulmates except us, we assumed they were our soulmates. I was just so upset, they had left everyone to go off into the nether not even caring to try to find who they were soulmates with. 
Then P&M came back to the overworld and called everyone who hadn't gotten a soulmate to a specific area. M had us play a game to figure out who's as who's soulmate, and when P jumped and I took damage, we already knew. But me and ZC had decided to just stick together since we were both upset about P and M leaving, so we both ditched them to live on our own. Then a little later, I get news that M had left P, and now she was posing as a red name, oh, and people no. were calling her Scarlet name. She would also force me to take damage by putting herself in snow or up to a cactus, and it was just torture to have to deal with her. It wasn't my fault that she couldn't care less about finding a soulmate. We won the game in the end, and I let her win fully by blowing myself up. But I just still wonder, was I in the wrong for leaving her? She left me in the beginning. I was only letting her feel how I felt. Oh. I just worry that now I'm the bad guy for leaving her and making her become chaotic. Am I the asshole? Ah, oh, Matt, this one's a tricky one. I was, you know, as the more as the story was going along, I was starting to lean towards like justified asshole. But then when it did that little line about like the, I just wanted them to feel how I felt. That's when it lost all that kind of like validation and sincerity. So it, it was teetering towards an equal share. But I mean, you reap what you sow, right? You pushed poor P towards the brink and cast them out in a world where everybody's got a soulmate and you openly and actively reject yours that's that's a that's a dick move that's not nice at all and like there seems to be like this overreaction and sort of decision in their head when p and m went to the nether that it was for some reason a bad thing like they didn't die there right might have taken a few hearts of damage or something but he'll back up carry on with life everything's gucci like i'm not fully understanding what the bad thing was about doing that and then the second they came out they came out immediately bam let's let's play a game let's figure out who our soulmate is they rushed for what may have been valuable resources in the nether came back out and was like right cool we've got a load of cool stuff who's the lucky llama who gets to share it with me i don't know man there's a lot of people saying equal share but i think in a death game a lot of people won't act rationally so i think you have to bear that in mind when people are falling down around you and there's one person in this world who has a shared bond with you has a shared investment in your survival and wealth and health and then that person pushes you away that's gonna make you turn and then you would lash out you would rebel <sighs> i don't know dude esh especially that m guy what did m do m showed gumption M, M showed gumption and created a whole game to bring people together. To be honest, M sounds like the only good guy in this entire thing. M didn't abandon Pearl. M, M's not Pearl uh, P's um, soul bound or soulmate. M did nothing wrong. That's what I like to see. M did nothing wrong. Never heard of Pearl. I read it in chat and I did a burgundy again. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think M left P. I think P was becoming unruly i can imagine m probably tried to console p tried to stop them from hurting themselves to hurt the other one but when p didn't listen m had to make sure that they weren't caught in the firing line to spare zc that's my guess is that m left out of necessity did as much as they humanly possibly could and then and then and then turned it away i don't know man this is uh, this is a tricky one there's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of hurt inside of here. You sound biased, buddy. Does my name start with the letter uh, S? No. I don't think so. Two abandoned them and the two others are petty. They didn't get abandoned, though. This is the thing. You can't abandon somebody that you don't know you already have a link with. You know what I mean? You're aware that a link exists, but you were just cracking on with your day as is. Hmm. I don't know. That was a lot of speculation, not in the post about M there. Hey, I'm just reading between the lines. <laughs> I'm just, I'm reading it as it is. I'm playing devil's advocate. I'm just always stuck on one side of that devil. I'm on that one shoulder. So what do you, <laughs> what do you want me to do? What do you expect from me out here? Everyone here sucks um p hurt s several times but at the same time s should have tried to be understanding to p but instead they ditched her it sounds like s made a bed and then couldn't lay in it 
It sounded like there was a P under that pillow and uh, an S couldn't deal with resting on it or a P under the mattress. Oh, that's such a good, like... Oh, that's such a good little, like, li little pun, isn't it? S made their own bed, but there was a P under it that made it uncomfortable. I like that. There's something quite poetic there. ESH, stay away from each other. And can you, though? In a world like that, when everybody's trying to take you out, can you just stay away from it? Hmm. Emmy's the only good guy here. Thank you. Thank you. On M's behalf. YTA. S didn't think about how their actions would come back to bite them. True. It was very uh, main character syndrome, wasn't it? It was very much a, I've been wrong, so I must be correct. Let me do what I want. And nobody could ever possibly challenge my ideals. ZC is the only good one here. Well, that's the thing. We've not, we've not read here about anything that ZC did. We haven't heard whether ZC was encouraging the split. I mean, you they must have been, right? I feel like ZC is probably an arsehole as well for... Oh, did it mention an axe crit? Did it? I'm not sure. I don't think it did. But ZC, at the very least, moved in with, with S, knowing full well that they also had a soulmate out there. Just hopefully the math didn't come back and mess them up. Who knows? Who knows? Right. It's the two pairs having different uh, priorities. M and P prioritize resources and Z prioritize their soulmates. It's all well and good finding your soulmate though. But if you if you perish whilst trying to find them because you've got no armor, it gets to nighttime and you've not got any shields, swords, nothing like that. Then you're not even going to live long enough to find your soulmate. That's my perspective on things. That's 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 me speaking as me. Not as anybody even slightly involved in this. <laughs> he was encouraged to go to the Never Buy M. It didn't say that in the post. Did you read an edit as well? Did they reply to a comment? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Just checking. Just checking. It's okay. At least M isn't hearing about this. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. I feel like M's been dragged along for the ride here. M sounds like a, a stand-up person, honestly. Went for the gold consoled somebody who had been rejected even though they had also been rejected they stayed with p the whole time they m could have blown up at any point and gone oh my god zc doesn't want me and it's all your fault but no m m saw that p was hurting stuck around for a bit and then when it clearly wasn't helping or wasn't working decided to look after their own mental health and then cracked on m's pretty great M is pretty fantastic if you ask me. Right. Final ones. Get them in the chat. M <laughs> uh, NTAs, YTAs, ESH or EHS even. I keep saying ESH. Oh, no, it is ESH, isn't it? Everybody here sucks. ESHs or uh, you can have cheeky GTs in there as well. Mm. Leaning very heavily into ESH for this one. Everybody sucks here. <clears throat> okay. Well, it's decided. That one, ESH. Next. Am I the asshole for throwing the ashes of a dog in front of its owner's feet? Now, before you rush to type YTA, you need some context. The other day, I, 33M, was in the middle of picking a duo name with my new partner for this latest round of an eldritch deathmatch we'd found ourselves in. We may be puppets or lambs the slaughter, but we still wanted an identity. That's when P27F P storms again. over and mocks the lack of grass on our muddy island, offering some grass blocks for trade. We began proposing items, and that's when P turns to me specifically and asks, Do you have Tilly for me? for taking her away the last time. To explain, Tilly was the name of her pet dog in the previous game we'd just played. Oh. Long gone, and even if it had survived, the gods would have purged it anyway. To make matters worse, I hadn't even killed her dopey mutt. She left it fall off a building she hadn't finished. Although, she did go a little frenzied that game, so I can understand timelines getting blurred. Fair. Regardless, it was very confronting. I didn't know what to say. Was P making light of the situation now? 
Was she trying to sow seeds of doubt with my new partner? I didn't know. So I went with my default reaction to most situations, which is to crack a joke or make a pun. I reached into my bag, scooped up a handful of gunpowder, threw it on the ground and said, sure, here you are, we cremated her. <laughs> Silence. It was only for a moment, but it felt like minutes. Nobody knew what to say, P included. So she just turned and left screaming, no bueno, in her leave. The deal was off. What did she want me to do? Apologize for a crime I didn't commit? Cast a Patronus to make a new dog? I don't know. No dog, no ashes, no problem, right? Yeah. What do you all think? Am I the asshole? Oof. I don't think you're the asshole. If somebody doesn't want salt rubbed in the wound, they shouldn't ask Salt Bay to come on up and do a little sprinkle sprinkle. Somebody brings up a topic, and it's old news. It's dead news, quite literally. If you don't want to talk about something, don't don't highlight it, right? If you put somebody on the spot, and also if you try to gaslight them, it, the, the, the gaslight detector, the, the alarm was ring-a-ding-dinging. Those little people from like inside out were in there pressing the buttons going, she's lying, she's lying, you never did it, you never did it. Like, that's that. I th I think this character, I think this person may have just thought, oh, like, P is all right with the dog now. It's a, it's a bit of a passing joke. It's a bit of a fun. It's just a bit of a ha-ha prank. I don't know, man. I'm not I'm, I'm not biased. This, uh, this isn't about me. I'm just saying, if you put a rake on the floor and tell somebody not to step on it, and then when they step on it, they try to get upset, that's kind of on them, in all honesty. That's, that's what I would say. YTA get to a psych ward. P never said M killed her dog. It it said it. P said for taking it away or for getting rid of Tilly last time. That's what it said. So it was very much implying that Op had done something to the dog, and it turned out it wasn't a thing. And like like they said at the end, no dog, no ashes, and no problem. Right? You can't be upset about something that's never happened. It's a work of fiction at that point. The dog may have been real, but not our interaction and like and the involvement with it as op. It wasn't. Sometimes you get so opinionated about these. It's almost as if you were there. I'm just a passionate guy. What can I say? I'm just passionate. You know what I mean? Not the asshole. Op was just feeling silly. That's that's where I'm at. Some people don't know how to deal with serious situations. They do just laugh and chuckle. NTA, joking's a valid coping mechanism and Op was blamed for something they didn't do. Thank you. Thank you. YTA, fully YTA. That, that's some conviction there, Compass. Oh my god. Dog may haven't have been real, but the memories between M and P are, so M should have been a bit more sympathetic to P. YTA. Okay. I mean, that's just your opinion. Why are you saying thank you? It's just because it tends to align with my thoughts on the topic. I'm saying thank you to people that are rallying behind my thoughts and feelings on this. No, I'm not speaking on Op's behalf. Of course not. YTA. Humor is a way to cope, but not for the one who isn't grieving. Yeah, but surely the presentation of the topic wasn't done in a manner where it seemed as though it was a problem. Like It's, it's not even fathomable that when one universe has been destroyed... And then a new one springs up and you're playing another death game. Like bringing up something from back then, it's it literally doesn't exist anymore. Did it ever exist? Was it is it an implanted memory? I don't know, man. It's hard to know when it's a death game, what's real and what's not. Kind of equal share leaning on you're the asshole. See, that's a bit more of a, a bit more of a fence city position, but that's not so bad. NTA, I don't know what P was expecting. See? Zef gets it. Zef gets it. PGT, because they care too much about a make-believe dog. <laughs> Says skills. Fair. Fair. I like this. NTA, M didn't even kill the dog. And besides, what did P want M to do? True. YTA, a solid trade or an offer to find a new dog could have made a new alliance. This is true. I'm not sure it makes it YTA, but I'm with you on that. They they should have used that opportunity to like almost say like, yeah, if I see a dog, 
I'll, I'll grab one for you. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll pop it in a boat for you. It was a missed opportunity, but that's more from a, a, a gameplay and, you know what I mean, from like a, a tactic standpoint. But that's more of a shortcoming of their own. NTA, but insensitive. Fair. <laughs> NTA, womp womp for P, but find another dog. YTA, but it was funny as fuck. <laughs> nice. YTA, this sounds so traumatizing that I'd miss a session for this, you know, uh, if P was me. <laughs> okay, right then. We, we've discussed it back and forth. We've heard all the sides. Info, why did uh, M have the ashes if it was P's dog? They weren't. It was gunpowder. The, the, op, the op very much said it was gunpowder. So let's get them in. Final final votes, final tallies. YTA, NTA, EHS, GT as always. Or maybe JA. Maybe some justified actions. Ooh, this one's a bit of a mixed bag, you know? It's leaning more towards YTA, I think. I think the general consensus is YTA. But it's closer than I thought it would be. Mm. YTA get P therapy. All right, fair. Yeah, that one's a mixed bag, that one. All right, um, I don't know how many many more of these we've got left. Next. Am I the asshole for celebrating my friend's wife died? I swear it's not what it sounds like. So a year or two ago, I, 27 male, was put into a sort of Hunger Games type of death game along with some other people. We have three or more lives, and once we lose our last one, we're out. However, every new season, we come back and have to play again. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I'm out first every single time. It's not funny anymore. I feel cursed. And apparently, I am. The eldritch angel beings that watch over us and plan the games seem to have gotten angry at me after a couple friends, and I tried to rebel against them in season zero. That was until recently, was when that? in the current season, my friend to her 30M's wife, 31F, was eliminated before I was. Apparently, she was trying to lure someone into the end with her to push them off into the void, but ended up falling in herself. A bit of an L, if I'm being honest. <laughs> like you could imagine, I was ecstatic. It meant the curse was broken. So I was celebrating around, chanting, friend's wife is death over and over again. Wow. And everyone seemed to be happy for me, too. I announced I throw a big party next week to celebrate. And that's when I realized my friend wasn't happy at all. In fact, he was quite pissed. I think I upset him even worse with my reaction, but no one else seemed to really care anyways. Still, he hasn't talked to me ever since, and I don't really know what to do. Should I go on with the party to celebrate my victory anyways? This is a big thing for me. Am I the asshole? Oh, this, this one's a tricky one. Because it's not even necessarily your victory. It's just somebody else's failure. And if they're like dead, if they're gone, gone, like it's not hurting their feelings. And the husband should have done more to keep the wife around. You know what I mean? Like it's, and if it's a death game, they're aware they're going to come back later on. Like why, why not enjoy the little things in a world that's doom and gloom and filled with dread and horrible backstabbing and traps and explosions. Most likely like, it seems like you can celebrate not being first dead. If it's an inevitability for everybody, why not enjoy getting to live a little bit longer? It's a celebration of life, not not a gloating about the dead. That's the way I see it. <laughs> NTA, get therapy. If the Eldritch Gods could... Uh, what was that? If the Eldritch Gods could... You definitely need therapy. <laughs> NTA, man deserved it, to be honest. Real dick move to say it to her husband, uh, but justified to celebrate not dying. So it's a mixed bag, right? I mean, I guess you could always just have the party and then not, not you know, invite the husband. Go and look. I appreciate that this will be difficult for you, so you don't have to come. There's an open invitation there. You can come have some cake and just pretend it's for something else. YTA, but understandable to celebrate. <laughs> hmm. I heard there was an update that op deleted. They said that they died 10 minutes later. Oh, really? 
Ah, see now this changes things. Okay. Okay. Not the asshole who should be allowed to celebrate. Yeah. It seems like a lot of people are on board with the celebration stuff. <laughs> Not the asshole skill issue. Yeah, that's coming up a lot. Loads of people screaming karma in the chat now. Uh, justified asshole. Fair to celebrate, but a little bit insensitive. It happened like five seconds ago. Yeah, I guess, I guess I mean, you can't help it, right? You can't help a sudden yelp or a sudden burst of excitement. It just, it just kind of happens. If anything, it might even like take the, the edge off the situation. You know what I mean? Even if it's people being annoyed at you for being a bit like, you know, tone deaf and being a little bit insensitive, that would actually probably detract from the hurt of the moment. So even when you're being the asshole, you might actually be saving, like it might, it might be enough of a distraction, right? I'm going to go, I'm going to go NTA on this one. I'm going NTA with this, I think. Question, what did Op's friend do when Op dies first in the previous seasons of those games? Guess they don't know, do they? They've never been around to find out. For all they, that's the thing, right? Yeah, Op, for all Op knows, is that every time everyone else has been laughing at them whenever they, whenever they die first. Could absolutely be the case. Other people's reactions weren't Op's responsibility. This is true. Hmm. And that's true when you're cursed and you get a little win over a god like that is like a billion in one chance for that to happen and it does anybody that's more rare than the lottery so to actually beat a god at its own game like that's huge that's huge I, i'm going nta with this one i'm going nta i wouldn't even say nta gt i just straight up say nta not the arsehole, in my opinion. Let me see what you got. What's everybody's final vote for it? Hate the game. True. A lot of NTA. A lot of justifieds. NTA have the party. Yeah, fair. I tell you what would make it different is if they knew it was the last game. If they knew that was it, like if, it, if they were dead dead and not on some kind of loop or cycle, then we'd be talking differently. But if it's, oh, hey, I'll see you in 15 minutes. You know what I mean? And for all they know, when, when Op died 10 minutes later, they probably had a good laugh about that. I bet wife was uh, watching and then just, you know, had a chuckle about it. They might have even bribed it. For all we know, the wife could have bribed the gods to take out uh, to take out next. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Next. Oh, that's it. That's that one. Right. So which one are we missing then? There's one that we're missing here. Let me look at my images. Um... Where is it? Oh, it's that one. Okay, I know which one it is. Let me see if I can find it in um in my project. <coughs> Why is everybody freaking out about last game? He's just ignore. I'm not. I'm looking at the comment. I just, I don't know what you want from me. Is it really the last game? I don't know. I'm just talking in the context. I'm talking in character there. Right. Hold on a second. Let's grab this one here. Do you want to see how I put these together, chat? I don't know where that one's gone. This is literally how I edited these, by the way. I literally just grabbed the audio. So I went with, um, where is it? This one here. Right. I do this. And I get the image and I drag the image into here. Just quickly grab the uh, unlink those, copy that. And then I literally press this, bam, bam, like that. And then how the title sounds, but hear me out. Just pull these around. Cool, right? I've closed all those gaps. Good. There we go. 
This is literally how I've edited all of these. Got it. And then if I do, um, or if I do an in and out, hold on, whoop, in, timeline, create subtitles from audio. Come on. There we go. It makes the subtitles. Analysis speed, 18 times. Jesus Christ. All right, nice. And then all I do is I click on workspace, scripts, comp, snap captions, text, uh, uppercase, um, 300 frames, generate. I didn't realize we'd get through these so quickly. I've vastly underestimated this, but all equally, I used up like 80% of the ones that were on Tumblr. We can always go on to Tumblr and find more though, for sure, because there were the odd one that I didn't do. Um, so we got that one. So this one, I think, should be ready to go now. Ready for it? So if I do this and press play. Am I the asshole? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's in one ear for some reason. I hate when it does this. Uh, clip attributes, audio, stereo, boop. Oh, have you got ads? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, let me know when you're back from ads. Send. We'll, we'll wait for people to come back from ads because that's the last one for now. I'll tell you what, whilst they're doing that, let me go on to Tumblr and see if I can find any others that we've not used yet. Traffic. Am um, I the arsehole? Uh, which ones have I not got? Let me order by latest. Uh, we've done that one already. That one done, done that one. <laughs> I like this one. I've not even read this. <clears throat> but I will, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do this, where is it? Uh, 11 labs. What voice should I use for this one? So this is the website I've been using, by the way, chat. It's called 11 labs. I, think I had to get a uh, subscription to it, but it's so worth it, even just for this one stream. Um, go to voices. Let's try and find a new random voice. Voice library. Uh, what have we got? You know what? I've not actually used any of the female voices yet. Let's just go for it. Um, there we go. So if I then choose the voice and choose Nina, put this caption in here. There we go. And then if I just grab all this text here, scroll up. There we go. I'm literally just going to copy paste this. Bam. <laughs> Am I the asshole? There we go. Generate. And that will just like automatically generate in the background. It's so good. There we go. Right. Uh, are we back from the ads? Nice. All right. Ready for it? Next. Am I the asshole for accidentally killing a depressed? Oh, hold on a minute. Let me get rid of those ones over the top. Try it again. Next. Am I the asshole for accidentally killing a depressed woman? Now, I know how the title sounds, but hear me out. <laughs> for context, we are all in a death game and everybody gets three lives. I, 27M, was on my third life. I was just hanging out with my friend Martin, 33M, when we saw a skeleton horse that clearly had an invisible rider on it. Oh. We were curious as to who was riding the horse, and so I figured the best way to find out was to punch the invisible rider. So I did just that, but apparently the rider was on two and a half hearts. Oh. They died. It turned out to be Lizzie, 31F. She had been on her second life, but I had just accidentally put her down to her third. That isn't even the worst part. It turns out she had thrown herself a birthday party and invited the whole server to it, including me but only her husband had shown up. After that disaster, she was miserable, so she decided to take an invisibility potion and ride on a skeleton horse to not only cheer herself up, but to make others laugh too. I ended up killing a woman who had been at her lowest. I feel awful. It truly was an accident, but what do you guys think? Am I the asshole? Oh man, to be honest, you would never expect a measly punch to kill somebody because that's all it said right let me let me let me go back a little bit hon hold on let me let me re-clarify here Sounds, where was it but hear me out for context we are all in a death game and everybody get 
So I figured the best way to find out was to punch the invisible. Yeah, it says punch. Okay, it says punch, so a punch it is. Why would you punch somebody? I mean, but you can punch somebody in the arm, right? You do pinch punch first of the month. Like, that's not so bad. And also, I don't think riding around on a skeleton is necessarily a funny thing. I would brick it. If I was walking down the street, if I was going through Central Park or something in New York, and all of a sudden, I see a skeletal horse trotting up to me. Never seen one of those in my entire life. It's beyond comprehension. I would absolutely brick it. I'd be terrified. I, I, I would strike whatever is on the back of it. If you could see a wispy thing, I'd be checking it to see if my fist would go through it. I'd be seeing if it was going to have like a, a Casper the Ghost style lunch where, you know, you wouldn't be able to, to touch it. I think that's scary rather than anything else. To me, it sounds as though Lizzie had a birthday party. Nobody came, probably because they're an arsehole. And then they decided that they were going to get revenge and go and scare everybody. I, I don't know who brought this justification. It was probably Lizzie once she respawned probably said to to jimmy that oh you did that but i was just trying to cheer everybody up or have fun i don't know i don't know man with what we're presented here it seems like op was just doing a little bit of like surveillance a little bit of checking ops on his third life he can't be taking risks like that he has to check that what's in front of him isn't a threat and not too hostile you know that old clip of like the uh, the ufc trials and there's that guy that goes, I can't let you get near me. I can't let you get close. It's like that. It's exactly like that moment. I I think Op was well within their rights to uh, to do a strike. And that's that. He used the sword though. Doesn't say that in the post. I don't know where you pulled that fabrication from. I won't be having any fake news in this chat. All right. I won't be having any fake news. No reading between the lines or putting hilts inside of closed fists. He updated in the comments. Oh, I didn't see it. Unfortunately, I didn't see it. You can see I've just edited it together now. I've I've only seen what's presented to me initially. Op deleted the whole thread. Fair. You know what? Fair. Wow. Op is leaving out key info. He said he was on. She was on two and a half hearts and punched a killer. Something's not adding up. Maybe maybe Op is just swole. I don't know why. You, sounds weird that you're trying to justify it. Sounds like you've killed people and didn't know your own strength. Sounds pretty sus to me, dude. Why didn't Lizzie just say who they were to avoid the uh, the incident entirely? Op is not the arsehole. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that Op's in the clear here. Well in the clear. I think Op is an unreliable narrator. I think you're influenced by people who are telling you about something that's in a thread that doesn't exist anymore. This is, this is back in the realm of the dog. This is back in the, did the dog ever exist? Yes or no. And we should pussyfoot around people just because the dog may have existed at one point the thread the thread was there and it was gone but were the comments ever there i don't know i don't know info op needs to clarify we need a part two that's what we need we need a part two for this i think mind is biased he seems close to op these aren't about me these aren't about anybody that i know these are about people that are in some weird death game from what they're saying so i have no idea not a clue on my part. Not the asshole, but dumb. Yeah, I can get on board with that. Why didn't the person... Uh, oh, no, wait, wait. Let's have a look. Op was just having fun. Lizzie may have also been having fun, but she should have been responsible for her health and safety. True. Also, who just rolls up to red names? Who rolls up to people on their third life? You, you literally just handed yourself over on a platter. You were asking for some retaliation. You know the psyche of a red player. That's me, man. That's me. There are no relations between the streamer and the submissions. Y'all are crazy for suggesting that. Exactly. I can't believe all of you are trying to implicate me in all of this. Doesn't seem fair. They said Martin, different guy. Yeah, they spelt it with an I. Did you not see? Totally different guy. That's your first mistake there thinking that i would spell my name wrong just because they're similar doesn't mean we're the same disregarding the situation op is the arsehole for name dropping lizzie true that is a big taboo that's a big no-no unless they explicitly say like we'll call them lizzie in this situation it does sound as though they've uh minimally doxed them i feel like for this one 
it's not a full not the arsehole but i think it's a justified action i'm going for a, a, a j a j a here justified arsehole somebody rolled up to you when you're when you're on your last life it's some weird skeletal horse with a, a wispy ghost on the back i th i think that's worth a poke i think that's worth a prompt to figure out what dangers are in, uh, ahead of you i'm going j a for this i'm j a what what are you all what are you all thinking Op needs the GT. Why does Op need to GT? I think this is probably the, the, the one post that we've seen today where I don't think they need to get therapy. I think it was a risk assessment. I think it was actually showed a lot of good uh, mental strength, stability, and bravery in that moment. That's crazy that you would say they need GT. Op killed a woman. What do you mean? I don't know. Didn't know, didn't know who or what it was. Could have been anything. I think you've all been swayed by these imaginary comments and edits that we've yet to see any proof or evidence of. Unless I've seen the comments with my own eyes, chat. If I've seen the edits, you shouldn't believe anything anybody in chat's saying. They're playing like third imposter by doing that. There's some real gaslighters in chat. It's crazy. All right, final vote. Are we saying not the arsehole, you're the arsehole, justified arsehole, GT, or what? I'm going with just a regular GA. I don't think any therapy is necessary. There's a lot of NTAs. Why must you doubt our credibility, Martin? Because I don't know you. That's why I doubt your credibility. NTA but stupid, not the arsehole. Not, not the arsehole and the victim should get GT. Fair. Justified arsehole but unreliable narrator. In your opinion. <laughs> right, fine. Good, we got it. Um, let me let me pull up another one real quick. I just I just managed to generate one a second ago. Let me see if I can really quickly quickly whip this together. Let me open up the Photoshop document I've got as well. So. Let me download the... Right, there we go. This one I've not proofed at all. I've just literally pulled it straight off. So we'll just sort of see how this goes. So if I drag this in, um, I just call this folder no proof. And we'll just go for it. So drag the audio into the timeline. I'm literally just going to do the same method as before, yeah? Uh, normalize audio levels, good. Um... Let's get some more footage up as well. Ready? There we go. Am I the asshole? I'm not going to do the uh, the opening title for this one. I will literally just get the audio fixed and then we'll go for it. And I'll do the subtitles as well. Just because the subtitles are assistive and they, they, they're quite nice. So, bam. This is a timeline. Create audio subtitles. And then they're just about to convert to the format now. Uppercase, 300 frames, generate. There we go. Next one coming in hat. I just saw the title of this one. I was like, okay, we'll, we'll give this one a watch. All right, ready for it? Uh, oh, wait, let me move the cursor back to here. Right, here we go. I've not even really heard this voice properly. I heard it at a low level. I think I already don't like it. Am I the asshole for killing my 30s and closest friend, Zombie H, F, and changing- <laughs> Hold on a minute. I don't understand anything that's being said here. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Am I the asshole for killing my 30s and closest friend, Zombie H, F, and changing my identity for my safety? I was given the- Wait, now I need to read that like in text form. What is it again? Am I the asshole? for killing my closest friend and changing my identity for my safety right okay so op is 30 male and the person that was killed is a zombie but with no defined age okay so op op has killed their best friend who was a zombie and then they've changed their identity for their safety all right continue tasked by an eldritch being to kill one person by the end of the day 
This came with the insatiable bloodlust and the threat of my own life. I tried to murder anyone I wasn't really associated with multiple times, mm. but I just couldn't find the right opportunity to get someone. Here is where I might be TA. I was running out of time and I didn't want to lose my own life. My friend was standing near a hole, another friend, five in dog years, and made to kill someone else. He was also given the task but killed outside our friend group. I made the dumb decision to try and push my friend into the trap. I apologized before doing it, but she was able to escape. I had to hunt her down and kill her before I ran out of time. Oh, you committed. Now she apparently has been consumed by a bloodlust even stronger than the one I had and has been making threats against my life to the point I had to change my name to stay under her radar. I think she is overreacting a bit, but I can't help but to feel a bit bad. Am I the asshole? Oh, damn. This one... <laughs> There's layers to this one. Okay, wait. So, from what I'm gathering, there are three parties involved here. You've got Op. You've got Zombie. That had, uh, uh, that is the one that got killed. And then there's a third party who is five in dog years, whatever that means. So, there's three people. They're a trio. They're in a group. Op kills Zombie. Apologizes before doing so. And had tried to kill other people prior. Dog managed to kill somebody outside of the trio but op wasn't so lucky and now basically there's a revenge uh scheme going ahead oh, i don't know on this one man i i don't think it's an overreaction i don't think it's an overreaction on zombies part it's that thing again of the game's the game you know what i mean the game is the game but having to change your whole identity like it sounds like zombie might be going for the kill which is kind of justified it's an eye for an eye the game's the game you got to go for it you could have even asked why not ask if you're going to kill them anyway the worst they can say is no and then you kill them regardless you know what i mean i think i'm leaning towards i think i'm leaning towards uh you're the arsehole on this one that's where i'm going with this I made I made this one. There's also an edit I added. <laughs> There's actually an edit. Wait, wait, hold on. I did see the edit, but I, a lot of the ones where I saw edits of them weren't done in the theme. Um, okay, right, yeah. I, let, me, let me run these through the text-to-speech thing as well, just because it'll be funny to hear it. All right, you ready? Generate. Edit. I don't know what everyone in the comments is talking about this big B guy. My name is Terry. Edit 2. Guys, she burned down my house. Oh, man. So the plot thickens. So it doesn't sound as though Zombie has kept it to just... And, and, yeah, it doesn't sound like Zombie's kept it to just the revenge plan and going for eye for an eye. They've gone for an eye, another eye, a cheek, a nose, a lips, all of it. It sounds like... There's a, now, now I'm seeing where the overreaction's coming from. I think on the on the initial post, not an overreaction, but it's starting to sound like an everyone here sucks. I think it was a not the asshole. Oh, sorry, you are the asshole, and it's now shifting into everyone here sucks for me. Even though Ob deserved it, you got to know when to stop. I'm, I've I've been shifted. I can't believe it. One edit or two edits has taken it that far for me. I don't know. It sounds like you got some bias against this zombie person. Never heard of him. I don't know, man. Everyone keeps talking about a bias today. I might as well put two at the start of it and change my name. I could become Tobias. Zombie felt betrayed and retaliated. Yeah, but repeatedly. Unnecessarily so after, what, after a point. That's what I'm saying. An eye for an eye, but then you're taking a calf, a leg, a kidney. A spleen, all of it. Equal share, communicate. True, true. There's not even a there's not even a marriage to get a divorce from. I'm going equal share on this one. Hit me with your votes. What what are you thinking? What what's the vote on this one looking like? Are we equal share here or nah? <clears throat> Maybe the real A was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> uh. But isn't a life more valuable than a house? But you're 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 putting them at risk. When you when you degrade the quality of life and then put them at risk of losing said life, 
I feel like as soon as as soon as this person in witness protection dies, then the the, the scales tip. Ooh, I'm not seeing really. I'm seeing very few. You're the assholes, and it's. It, I think everybody else has also shifted to equal share. Equal share, except the dog person. True. The dog person sounds like they're a real one. They sound like they 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 managed to go outside the group. I like that. God, this is a long one. Bloody hell. I'm just going to scroll up and take it. I'm, again, I'm not even going to vet this one. I'm just going to I'm just going to put it in. All right, you ready? Right, okay. <laughs> let, me, let me put this one in. Uh, what voice am I going to pick for this one? Uh, voices, voice library. That is in Spanish. I'm literally not going to know what's going on. You are feeling small. That one's a bit too slow. Some strong opinions, and um, I believe that we are fun. Yesterday's home runs don't win today's games. Mm. I'm just looking through a few voices. Oh, I like this one. This voice is weird as hell. I'm ready for it. We're going with Andy, everybody. This is the next one. If you if you want to write one on the fly, by the way, chat, feel free to do so. And on on Tumblr. I'm pulling them from that uh, from the tag traffic a i t a or one word, so feel free to um, feel free to slap some in there if you want to. Um, right here we go. I'm gonna hide it so you don't get spoiled on what what this is. Um, <clears throat> um, okay, got that. Let me change it over to Andy. Generate. Uh, your post in the reblogs. Oh, is there loads in the reblogs? Is there? You know what? I never even looked at that. Hold on. Top. Oh God, there's 256 reblogs. Oh Jesus. Okay, well we're fine. We've got we've got another hour of this to do, chat. This is totally fine by me. Maybe should I just start playing the audio rather than doing the subtitles, or do the, or do the subtitles help? What do you think? What would you rather? It's just it takes me a minute or two to get the subtitles together. They do help. Okay, cool. Right, we'll do that then. Um, has that one generated? Oh, it has. Four minutes! Christ, okay. <clears throat> I'll do it. That's a, that's a long one, that one. Um, drag this one in. Is that the one? Right. Am I the arse? <laughs> I can see now why it's four minutes. That voice is so weird. Okay, hold on. I'm pulling together the next one, chat. Sit tight. If anybody wants to like skim through the ones in the reblogs and send me and like link me the good ones, if you want to go into like, I don't know, general chat on my Discord and link me to like decent ones that you think are funny or would, would split conversations, then um, that would also be super helpful to me right this second. I, I totally appreciate if people are just watching the stream and also want to just chill. Um, create subtitles. Go, go, go. Right, it's generating subtitles now, chat. Sit tight. This is so funny. I'm glad we've done this. This is what I meant when I was saying that I want to do more live streams that kind of like feel like videos. You know what I mean? I feel like I've been phoning in with doing like bingo streams and stuff. They don't feel that inspired, but doing stuff like this is is fun. Let me just open my window a bit as well. Nice. Oh, cool. Yeah, other people have posted some. Oh, there's one from King the Gast as well. Sick. See what I'll do then. I will move this over to here and see if I can edit them. As time goes on. Oh, this one's ages. There we go. Nice. Right, you ready? Uh, zoom out a bit. Let me just drag in the uh, the gameplay footage again. Boink. Right, ready? Here we go. Time for another one. Go! 
Am I the arsehole for lying to my friend about owning a frog? Friend, friend is dubious. <laughs> okay, so I, M, was painting some frogs onto the tower I share with my roommate, P. Okay. 20 something or 30 something, F. When, we'll call him J, can't be older than 20, M, walked over to me and asked if we had any frogs. I gave him a vague answer to see what he'd say. And he seemed to think we did. And he got super excited at the concept of frogs. <laughs> he even offered a lifetime supply of food for it. Oh. Now, we didn't have any, but I did know a group of wild frogs with prophetic powers. Long story. And I brought him to them, kind of killed one in front of him, and gave him the Grand Master Frog, 1537 and two months, M, as a sign of peace. However, from the moment I gave it to him, I knew he was going to kill it. Just felt it in my bones. You know, I confessed to P what I had done, and she scolded me, reminding me that frogs were our thing, and no one else on the server was supposed to have them. Oh. I knew I had messed up, but I told her that we could always just steal it back. <laughs> the next time we saw Jay, not soon after actually, we threatened him and asked where he had hid the frog. He was confused. I told P he had taken it from me. He told her about the food thing, and she started asking me all sorts of questions like I was the one who did something wrong. Asking me why I didn't tell her about the food offer. Asking me why I would even take that offer up, because we can steal from them so easily. We then got back to threatening him about the location of the frog, and he got super cryptic about it, saying we didn't need to know, but that the frog was safe, and that he had renamed it. After our talk with Jay, P and I started looking for the frog. She was going to act as distraction as I went through their house, but it had been burned down a bit ago. Long story and I sort of wimped out and walked up to Jay and his friend instead. Jay said I had double-crossed him for some reason, and when I made an offer, he said he was tired of my deals. I went and apologised to the frogs afterwards. Don't you worry. They forgave me, but I knew I would have to make things right. We'll update you guys on developments, but I just wanted to post this now because I want to know if I'm really in the wrong or not. Edit one. <laughs> I got the perfect opportunity. <laughs> you scared me. Jesus, I thought that was the end of it. Sorry. Edit one. I was, oh my God. Pretty today. So I decided to just steal it. I had to tell the frogs. Is it because it's in caps lock? First and pick one to act as a decoy. I did manage to save it and I brought it back home and hid it in a wall in the basement stairwell. Next, there was only one thing left to do. Ask Jay to let us see the frog. He was a bit apprehensive, but I reminded him that we're great friends and he promised to think it over. He did make up his mind and let me see the frog eventually, but it turned out to be a ploy to kidnap me in an obsidian box. P did save me, don't worry. I still can't believe he would trick me like that though. He what? did later find the frog missing and got super mad at me. Damn. I'd done anything wrong. By the way, I showed P the frog, safe and sound, <laughs> and she was super proud of me. Also, people have been asking for elaboration on the stuff I've said were long stories, but they're long stories. And this post is already getting super long. Yeah, if I, it is. Maybe I'll elaborate someday. Are we done or are you going to shout at me again? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, uh, to be honest, it kind of feels like equal share here. Wait, everyone in my chat shouting edit two. Is there an edit two? Or are you... It, I, it feels like it's mostly a you're the asshole and it sounds like karma and it sounds like you're playing triple bluffs and... It's it's just constant. Oh, we're making fun of that shout. Okay, yeah, yeah fair, 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 fair. Yeah, it, it sounds like in this situation, it was just a mess. 
You're the asshole. You just stole a guy's pet. Yep, that's fair. Oh my god. Everyone here sucks. Um... But the kidnapping deal is a bit much. Yeah, it's a bit of a drastic escalation, isn't it? Although I guess some people do see pets as like part of their family. So, you know, you kidnap their frog and they kidnap you. It, it, to them, it can feel like an equivalent exchange. I don't know, man. I, it kind of feels like that might be justified in some cases. That was a really long post as well. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't vet them and I'm just copy pasting them into, into like translates. You know what I mean? um i don't know jay kidnapped up before he knew the frog was gone oh wait was it did i did i get my did i did i get my timeline mixed up a bit there mm. he made a deal went back on it by stealing then jay kidnapped yeah so it feels justified doesn't it Where'd that music come from oh there is music in that damn I wasn't expecting that there we go uh i think i am going with just a straight up you're the asshole it sounds like op just created all their own problems for themselves and sounds as though they got p tangled up in it and then made p have to come and rescue them and all this sort of stuff it just it sounds like a lot of hassle and a lot of fuss for not particularly much gain or reward or any kind of good stuff it drifts into equal share, but I'm not sure it entirely is. Not sure. There we are. Okay. Up made all the problems they were struggling with. Yeah, true. That's that's where my mindset's at. All right, cool. Uh, got next one. You ready for it? I'm just going to drag and drop it in. Uh, is that the one? download it again there we go i don't even know what voice i've gone for here i've not even checked the voice to hear it i've literally just decided to to run it up uh timeline uh, subtitles from audio bam let's go i'm just stuck on the whole jay wanted a frog and his house got burned down and it's super easy to steal things from him why are they picking on him like this i mean i guess when you got a tower and you stood at the top of it you do look down on others seems like a bit of a complex going on here you know what i mean Mm. Okay, workspace, uh, titles please, uppercase, 300, go. So this next one comes from uh, King the Ghast, who I know has made some good stuff in the past. They even edited theirs to look like uh, a Reddit post as well, which is pretty cool. Thank God they put plain text version so I could copy and paste the text over from it. Um, but that's who this next one is from. And I'll keep pulling ones from the Discord that uh, that you guys are saying are, are decent. Right, ready for it? Here comes another one. Get your votes ready and go. Am I the ass? Oh, I'm not done the audio. Oh, no. Audio, stereo, bam, bam, bam. And take it from the top. Am I the asshole for killing my boss? Even though he asked, before anyone comes for me, he's fine now. So I, 33M Green, got hired by this guy. 45M, green now red, running an enchanting business because I accidentally used his things Wait, when- Wait, how do you go from green to red? Whoa, hold on a minute. And I saw his stuff laying around as he was still working on his shop. I was just in it to sort of repay the service I used, but then we became friends. Okay. Thing is, he also had these really sketchy guys from the desert that wanted to undercut him hard by oh. taking over the business and all his enchants, and they would keep pestering him about it breaking and entering, etc, etc. Mm. My boss wasn't the type of guy to stick up for himself very much, so it kind of happened a lot. But the big thing was when they planted a bomb at the entrance to the building where the shop was. What? This pissed my boss off a lot because they made him go from green to yellow and he said he had a plan, but he wouldn't tell me what it was. And then one day he comes out with a really nice axe that he gifts me. Okay. I thought it was cool. But then it turns out he'd basically built a sacrificial altar in the patio outside the shop. As Not you cool. do. Then he turns to me and asks me to kill him. I didn't want to do it because I'm green and he's yellow, but he's also my boss and I'm supposed to listen. And then he's also my friend. So I decided to trust him on this. And so I just went along and cut off his head. Okay. And now every friend of my boss is blowing up my messages asking why I did that. 
I tried to say that I had no choice because he literally told me to do it and he's just on red now, not perma-dead, but nobody wants to believe me. And I think there's someone already coming over. They're my boss's friends, but also if they try to get at me, I will fight back. But also, it would make my boss upset and he trusts me a lot. I feel bad for killing my boss, but he told me to do it so I don't think it's wrong. Am I the asshole? No, no, not the asshole. Not the asshole and definitely get therapy. Your friend slash boss asked you to lob their head off. And then they also clearly hadn't properly communicated to their mutuals that this was going to be happening and the reasoning for it happening. So they've just... Boss sounds like an asshole, honestly. Boss sounds like an asshole. Boss brought you in on this. If this is going beyond the means of the contract. This isn't a zero contract, a zero hours contract. This isn't not giving you your paid time off, not giving you your annual leave or, you know, giving you paternity or maternity like stuff. This is, this, you need to quit this job fast. Doesn't matter what kind of business shenanigans are going on. I mean, what kind of business are they dealing in if there's bombs at the front door? What kind of like worldly secrets and Illuminati level stuff are you dealing with when you need to have a special forces to defuse stuff? I, <laughs> I don't understand. Sue for emotional distress. Yeah, geez. This place clearly doesn't have a HR department. Or if it did, it probably had its head chopped off before. I think everybody's very much on the same page for this one. I feel like this one's a no-brainer. Sometimes they are. I feel like we've had a lot of good ones today that are kind of like, you know, up for debate and up for discussion. But this feels like it's... This feels like it's pretty heavily weighted to the boss being the arsehole, if we're being honest. Damn. Are we all in agreement? Has anybody got any, like counter arguments for this or are we very much in the uh in the same spot where is the boss he should be the one to confront the friends right that's what i'm saying the boss is still around not perma dead as it was clarified boss should be having these conversations why are they blowing up op's phone doesn't seem fair like op could have just uh, sorry boss could have just jumped off a cliff done it themselves i don't understand why they had to make things messy and get somebody else in on it Mm. everyone gt well not everyone boss get gt and op but i think the friends like the friends are rightfully questioning op but if they're not believing op then why ask the question in the first place you know what i mean you've made your mind up already don't bother wasting anybody's time there's all yours there was an edit boss boss's axe sent a message i've not seen this edit I'll be honest with you. Is is that is that edit in there or no? Hmm. Let's have a look. Let me let me grab another one. Um. <laughs> I like this one. The title alone is cracking me up. So I'm just gonna copy paste this and see what see what it ends up being. Uh, copy. Right. Let me let me pull the uh, text to speech on this one. Let me grab another voice uh let's go for alice sure don't know what alice is but we'll, we'll go for it um let me do this am i the asshole and then we'll go am i the asshole all right nice um generate got it and we'll do the same as before chat we'll generate the subtitles and go from there with it This is so funny. We'll have to do this with actual Am I the Arsehole posts at some point as well. But it'd be nice to just keep doing lots of different ideas. I want to get super experimentative with streams for the rest of this month and next month. I think it'd be fun. Because this is all stuff that I think would also, like people have been saying in chat, will also just turn into, um, <coughs> will turn into good, um, like TikTok content as well. All right, let's fast forward a bit here. Drag this to here. Right, I'm just generating subtitles, chat. Give me two seconds. We'll get the audio in the right ears. Bam, bam. Titles. Subtitles from audio. Generate. My TikTok feed is 50% Am I the Arsehole at this point. You know what? As soon as I had the idea of doing this, they stopped on my timeline. Super weird. And I don't really know why. And then, like, Timmy's never had them come up. I had to explain the concept to Timmy, and he just 
seemingly has never had them, which is which is wild. There's a thing I want to show you before we end as well, by the way. It's one of the writing prompt ones that came up, and I really like it. The algorithm always trolls you, man. My algorithm's all over the place. My algorithm's got indie musicians. It's got Japanese. It's got Minecraft. It's got streamer moments. It's got wrestling. It's got... Randomly, it keeps trying to push football on me, and I'm just... I'm not into football. But then I can't deny that when there's like a best goals ever one you can't help but want to watch that you always want to see people doing the best in their craft you know what i mean it's one of those yeah, things that you can't not want to not want to check out right ready for the next one chat here we go strap yourselves in and get your thinking hats on am i the asshole for spending time with my kids my ex-wife has full custody of our two sons, who I do care about very much. Okay. But my ex-wife is an absolute terror who I avoid at all costs. I do my best to spend time with the kids, but I don't like going over to their house because my ex-wife is there. Fair. And I live with three of my friends, so it gets awkward bringing them to my place. Because oh. who wants to hang out with the guy who constantly has to babysit, right? Recently, though, I've been putting what? in more effort to connect with my kids. Does their mother seem to care? Nope. Still hates me for whatever reason. I built a brand new pathway between our houses. I live about a three-minute walk from them, so I could visit more often and the kids could come to my house on their own. I even let my youngest spend the whole day with me when my ex-wife had a last-minute emergency and needed me to babysit even though I already had plans with my friends for the day. Most recently, I received an invitation for a family dinner at my ex-wife's house with her and the kids. Oh. I wasn't sure at first because it was pretty obvious it was just the boy's idea and their mother wasn't happy about it, but I eventually agreed because I wanted to be a good father. Yeah, fair. The dinner was fine. The kids seemed to be happy, even if my ex made a few comments about the nature of the divorce. She still in insists the I'm the one who left them. As if she wasn't such a nightmare to live with, she practically forced me to. Damn. At one point, the conversation got a little too awkward, so I decided to take the boys outside to play catch. I thought it would be good to get out of talking to my ex while also having some fun with my kids. Yeah. Since they're getting older, I thought it was time they learned how to play with an active grenade. You know, the standard rite what? of passage for all... Hold, wait! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Hold on a minute. Sudden escalation. Sudden escalation. Hold on a minute. With an active grenade. You know, the standard rite of passage for all young men. No! I started out easy, of course, but once they got the hang of it, I gave them a second one and let them have at it. They were having so much fun with each other and their dad. I thought it was going to be a really great memory to look back on. Unfortunately, one of them dropped a grenade and they both died. They were both oh. really upset about it when they respawned and my ex told me to leave, which <sighs> I kind of understand, yeah. but I did tell them not to drop the ball, so it's kind of their own fault. No, Besides, no. they were just having fun. One of them's probably dyspraxic. You got, no, it's not their fault. My ex even mentioned something about CPS as I was leaving, which I think is way too far. CPS? What CPS? Oh, Child Protective Services. Now my kids don't want to come see me and I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about it. <sighs> I was just bonding with my kids and accidents happen all the time. Am I the asshole? Yeah, big time. And you know what? I thought you were the asshole before the grenade section. The, the, the moment when you felt as though you were ashamed to be somebody with kids and... Uh, and like your roomies not wanting to see them or something that that was the first one for me but the grenade was really like the nail gun in the coffin <laughs> not just the nail in the coffin the nail gun in the coffin you can't be lobbing around grenades even if you're in a world where you respawn like you live close enough bring your kids over and do that it sounds like you just need to not spend any time with your ex quite honestly i feel like you need to just not do that no no, that's. I, I I don't think there's enough there to suggest that it's equal share. I'm I will level with you. We all we keep hearing is a comment about why, or like we don't hear any examples as to why the X is so awful. But if you have that opinion, why put yourself in an awkward environment with them? I don't know, man. 
<laughs> I just, <laughs> you're the asshole. You killed your fucking kids. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably the one. This person sounds hella washed up, whoever they are. Like, for real. I don't know. What does ES ESH stand for? It's supposed to be EHS. It's supposed to be everyone here sucks. Yeah, dude. No, this one, this one's a pretty uh, cut and dry for me. This is uh, a <laughs> YWU. You're washed up. I, I'll take that for this one. I'm doing a YWU. Oh my gosh. What's everybody else's thoughts? Not the asshole. He taught his kids masculinity by killing them. <laughs> Not at all. No, I can't get on board with that one. You're the asshole. Use a ball. Yeah, agreed. You're washed up and you're the asshole. Yeah, it's it's a lot of yutters and yowoos. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Um. Okay. I tell you what, I want to go back to my parkour footage, as janky as it was. Let me um, let me grab some of it. Where is it? Oh, let me press pause there. There you go. Am I the arsehole background? We'll go back to my footage a little bit as well. Hey, yeah, yeah. Right, ready for another one? What's the next one we're gonna check out? Be um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um. Oh, we've made a thread for it now instead. Okay, fair. Let's have a look. I'm just going to grab one at random. Uh, I, th I need the titles to inspire me. That's what I need. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Let me Google it first. Oh. Uh, that one's a bit short. I like the ones where it feels as though they've been, they've been elaborated on. I clicked the same link twice there. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh, is there not a text version of it? Oh, there's not a text version of that one. Damn. Right, hold on. At least I don't think there is. I'm looking at one from Winterbin. But I don't know if there's a, a, a plain text version of it. Is it maybe in the comments of it? Just read it out loud. Hold on. I like it more when it's the when it's the subtitles though. The subtitles do crack me up. Um, what are the ones we got? I've I've already done that one. What's this one? All right, let's go for this one. All right, I'm going to go for this one. Uh, what voice am I going to go for? Let's go for a Freya. Let's try Freya voice. See what this one is. Is it working? Hold on. Come on. <laughs> I love how Valley Girl this one sounds. For accidentally doing this. <laughs> I've not changed the text to say, am I the arsehole? But I'm, I'm sure we'll live. It's still generating the, the audio now. It sounds very Valley Girl, yeah. I'm excited to see what this one ends up being like. I reckon we'll have this be the last one. God, I've used up so much of my quota already. I think I get something like 100,000 characters a month. And just for these, am I the arseholes? I've used up 28,000 characters, it would appear. Unless my quota is lower than I thought, but I'm pretty sure that was it download got it right got it let me put the audio in the right ear do a bit of this bit of that bam got it and then um let me move this towards more like the end over here because this will be footage we haven't seen just yet all right in oh god i even just had like a glimpse of the audio and i already hate the voice oh that's funny this has been a lot of fun. This has been great. There we go. Yeah, let, let's call this the last one. I have no idea what it's going to be. It could be a stinker, but we'll see. Um, uppercase, 300 frames. Bam, let's go. <coughs> God, my light just feels like it continues to get brighter even I've not pressed the button on it. Whoa, that tunnel looks cool. Forgot about that. Right, ready for it, chat? 
here we go. Here's another one. And three. Oh, actually, wait. Three, two, one. Aida for accidentally causing a chain of events that led to two pairs of soulmates dying. I, G, 30, accidentally caused the deaths of my friends J, 30, and E, age unknown, due to uh, uh, fishing them up high with a rod. In my defense, okay. this isn't fully my fault, I think. J was the only one I had on my fishing rod, but because he can't seem to do anything without E, he attached E to the fishing chain too. Oh. This then caused them to die due to combined fall damage. <laughs> Whoops. My other friend, P, 27, who had been slowly losing her mind over the past few weeks, also joined the fishing chain, leading her to be near the loot that was dropped from J and E. Okay. She picked up a lovely diamond chest plate that belonged to J and wore it proudly. Then out of the trees, J and E appeared again with murderous looks in their eyes and demanded that P should give J the chest plate back. Meanwhile, I'm standing there looking like an absolute lemon, apologizing to <laughs> J and E because I believed it was my fault. Then P started running away from J and E with the chest plate, and this inevitably led to her and S, 30's death. Oh. I caused four people's deaths, and I don't know how to feel, Ada, or was it just my friend's absolute stupidity? Oh, dude. Uh, to be honest, I'm thinking not the asshole. It sounds like you had a fun game going on, and it sounds as though when somebody's exploded like a like a, a piñata, that they've all then just got into a frenzy. They were like cats with catnip. They saw a bit of diamond. They saw a glint of something nice, and that happened. I think it's just the world crumbled around you. I don't know, man. That, that, that to me feels like not the arsehole. I'll level with you. I, I don't think it's on you. I think you're good. And that, that's my take on it, at least. There's not really much to add there. It sounds as though Jay should never have brought E into the situation by hooking them. And then it sounds like P just kind of got tangled up in whatever, or S got tangled up in whatever was going on. I feel like P probably could have given the armor back. I was under the impression when it first got read that um, E and J were gone. Like, they were out. They were finished. That was like a permadeath. But if it's not, and then they've just dropped their armor for a moment... I think the polite thing to do is to pick it up, hand it back, and then carry on with your day. So it feels like P kind of brought some trouble on themselves. So I would actually say everybody but Op is the arsehole. <laughs> like just about everybody is. I think it, it could have been uh, it could have been dealt with a lot better on all fronts, in my opinion. That's that's what I'm saying. What do you think in chat? Honestly, after they died, you guys should have stopped, but P took it too far. Okay. Wasn't the P the one who brought E to the situation? Oh, I don't even know. I, ob I obviously only know what's written in this thread. I have no wider context. Op doesn't have anything to do with the second part. It was J and E's fault for volunteering into a dangerous game. True. Everybody was aware of the risks. Everybody signed the waiver. There was, a, there was an NDA. There was a non-disclosure agreement in place. And they're the ones who broke contract. So they suffered the consequences of everything. Everybody here sucks except for Opt. Okay, I'm okay. I'm on board with that. I think we're all in the same boat. We all agree. Fair. Fair. Guys, I made the blog. I did see you type about this, Aqua. I am kind of intrigued. Where have you have you put it in the thread? Oh wait, you've made. Oh, I see what you're saying. You've made a, a blog specifically for them. Gotcha. So you're you're doing general MCYT am I the arsehole um post. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Sorry, I thought you were writing one to submit. Fair. Well, final votes then. Final one of the day. What are we thinking? NTA, YTA, ESH, or EHS, EHS but op. A lot of NTA. I think that's a full-on NTA. I think, yeah, I think it's very much an NTA, isn't it? Created an unsafe environment. Oh, okay. Someone going against the grain. But we didn't create an, un uh, an unsafe environment. They collectively created an unsafe environment. If it was mentioned that Op had hooked 
Jay without permission to start with, then maybe. But it sounds as though Jay was in for it and reeled E into the situation. I think E getting hooked made them <laughs> YWU. Yeah, I agree with that. YWU. E definitely sounds like they're washed up. 100%. Washed up, fished up, dished up by the sounds of it. Did they sign a waiver agreeing to danger? Probably not by pen and paper, but by participating. It's like a vocal contract, right? It's a, it's a, it's a spoken, it's a spoken agreement. The keyword is consent. True, and and most of the parties consented. The deaths that occurred, like there was consent for the potential of death in the first half, and in the latter half, that had nothing to do with op. So, yeah. So I, that that's where I'm at with it. Why, wow, Martin? I can't believe you're doing parkour during this entire stream. You're so good at it. True. Oh, hello, Scott. <laughs> we we need to do one more now so they can understand the concept of this live stream, right? Let me let me let me pull one more. Okay. Let me find another one for you. Um, what we got? Have we got any others? Uh, da, 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 da. let's see. Um, in fact, there's, there is literally one here which is caption this. Um, let me see. In fact, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just play one that we've already done. So, to quickly explain what we've been doing today, we've been doing. Uh, there's a subreddit called "Am I the Asshole," which basically people share their stories on there when they want to get third perspectives on it. Um, they provide as much information as possible, and people tell them whether they're the asshole, whether they're not, whether they are equally as horrible as the people that are on the other side of the situation that they're writing about so i asked people to write a bunch of them and i wrote a load myself from the perspective of uh life series players uh do a scott one okay wait i think there is a scott one let me just triple check i mean there's a, there's a scott one that we've already had today should i just play that one where is it um where is it am i instantly 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 oh. am i the asshole where is it am i Am I the asshole for ditching my soulmate? About a year oh, it's or two. A, it's a double raid. <laughs> okay, right. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a double raid worth of them in here, right? We got fresh eyes, new perspective. Let's get the perspective of the new people that are coming in here. Hello, everybody from Owen's channel as well. Come on in. We are currently doing Am I the Assholes like on Reddit, but they are themed around the life series. So we're talking third life, uh, limited life, double life, last life. Uh, God, what other ones have we done? Secret life all of those um and, and scott just rated this a second ago and this one is uh relating to scott so yeah am i the asshole for ditching my soulmate about a year or two ago i 28m entered this hunger games type of thing where we all battled to the death we had like three lives and each time we died we went down another color the catch was that our lives were linked to another person like a soulmate situation so at the start of the game, we all went around looking for who our soulmate was. Any group I went into, we tested if they were my soulmate, and every time it was no. I did end up pairing with my friend who we'll call ZC, 42F, but we weren't soulmates. <laughs> I ended up getting really worried about how everyone else is getting paired up. But eventually me and ZC figured out who our soulmates would have been. P, 27F, and M, 33M. Also, just to clarify, when we've been talking about these, we've been being in character. So we're talking as though we are in this world that the, the op is written in, if that makes sense. So we're not saying like, oh, but it made for a good video. Well, no, we're talking like in world, okay? Both of them so went to the your nether, opinions, and since everyone character. else had found their <laughs> soulmates Scott except us, spamming we MCA. assumed they were our soulmates. I was just so upset, they had left everyone to go off into the nether not even caring to try to find who they were soulmates with. Then P and M came back to the overworld and called everyone who hadn't gotten a soulmate to a specific area. M had us play a game to figure out who's as who's soulmate. And when P jumped and I took damage, we already knew. But me and ZC had decided to just stick together out. since we were both upset about P and M leaving. So we both ditched them to live on our own. Then a little later, I get news that M had left P and now she was posing as a red name, and people were calling her Scarlet Name. She would also force me to take damage by putting herself in snow or up to a cactus, and it was just torture to have to deal with her. 
It wasn't my fault that she couldn't care less about finding a soulmate. We won the game in the end, and I let her win fully by blowing myself up. But I just still wonder, was I in the wrong for leaving her? She left me in the beginning. I was only letting her feel how I felt. Oof. I just worry that now I'm the bad guy for leaving her and making her become chaotic. Yep. Am I the asshole? Yes, you are. Be the, yeah, you are the asshole. I said this last time and I'll say it again. It would have been fine had there not been that caveat of wanting them to feel how you felt. And that immediately puts up a gaping hole in the NTA. It does. It just it it just makes it worse. It makes it worse. It makes it, it it's it's acting out of hurt and malice. And there is so much assumption done by S and uh or by Op and ZC. We were saying this just because they went to the nether doesn't mean they don't care about their soulmate. In fact, the first thing they did when they came back was prioritize finding their soulmate. You can't look for your soulmate if you know that they're definitely in a different dimension. They blitzed into the nether. They speed ran it. They were trying to give their their soulmates the best opportunities that they could by getting them late game items early on. That's that. You have a bias. I don't. I'm not part of this. I'm not part of this. I don't know, I don't know OP or M or ZC or P, none of it. It's there's There's been no mention in this post of when somebody started going off the rails that they would try and like console them, talk them down, all that kind of stuff. I don't know, man. I'm kind of feeling like that. Oh, we've got ads again. Oh, no. Bad time. Streamer isn't biased, just based. <laughs> I like that. That's my favorite. Uh, that's my favorite evaluation of this. Um... <laughs> oh my gosh! <coughs> is is Owen here? We need a third opinion. Not sure. That's like asking. Uh, that's like you asking Op to care about his ex um, when he was hurt by them. Wait, what? That was like you asking Op to care about his ex when he was hurt by them. I don't know if I understand what, what you're saying there. Asking Op to care about his ex. I didn't know there was an ex involved in this situation. The way that I saw it as well was nobody died in the event. Saying how you never went and checked up on them when they went crazy. But I, mm, I guess so. But I think you can't consider somebody an ex when you're soul bound to them and you share a stamina bar uh, or you share a health bar. I think it's then they're, they're never truly an ex. And there was never a conversation had. There was no chance for explanation. They were just immediately made an ex with no no consulting. So I, I'm going with YTA on this one. I think I think <laughs> P was put through a lot, but I feel as though P wasn't given a chance to explain and was treated unfairly and in a world where everybody has a soulmate and suddenly you're told that yours doesn't want you that that's gonna cut deep that's gonna cut deep so i, I don't know op had to look after themselves first and foremost like they say on planes put on your own mask before helping others uh we need to do this we need to do um <clears throat> we need to do this but with other people on on a call we for sure have to do this. I'll I'll try and set this up. I'll try and pull some more together. You know what we should do? We should get some for like rats or pirates and then do some of those. I think that would be a really fun way of tapping into different characters from a different universe and then doing some for that. I, I tell you what I'll do at the end of this stream or at some point tomorrow, I'll set up some hashtags and we'll get some rats and pirates ones going. Because I think there's a lot of like there's a lot of different characters and perspectives. <laughs> Am I the asshole for killing the gardener? Yeah, stuff like that would be perfect. And we'll get like just like one, maybe two other rats on um, <clears throat> and talk through them. That would be good. That would be good. Or submit it to the blog. The problem is, is it requires then you to manually go through and approve them all. I'll just make a tag and then people can post them because then there is a zero, there's, there's zero barrier, the zero threshold for me to see them. But yeah, a group Am I the Arsehole podcast could be could be quite funny. <laughs> oh man. Well there you go. That's that's all I got for you. That's that's all of those for today. I'm done. I'm gonna tap out there.
<laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that chat. I thought that would be a fun concept to implement. I've seen other people do Am I the Arsehole streams before, but it's always just been just literally just wrote, loading up Reddit and away you go. But I wanted to do something that was kind of like mocking or imitating a, a genre of TikTok, as well as doing something that was very specific and niche to, to our fandom. Um, I thought this, I thought this was fun. And thank you for everybody for like doing the role play element of it. It didn't require much the role play, but you know, not breaking the fourth wall and just chatting about stuff in character made it a lot more funny. I made it a lot funnier even. That's good. I like that. See so what I might do actually before we um, finish up. I might actually run one of these parkour maps myself. I've been watching parkour this whole stream and not been able to do any because I've been mindful about what's on the screen and stuff. So we'll do that. That'll be good. I'll probably post a few of those to TikTok as well because um, I think that'll be quite funny. Speaking of, I'll show you um, if you've not seen it yet. For those of you coming in from like Owen's stream or from Scott's stream, um, I posted quite a fun little TikTok yesterday. Where is it? God, Jesus, it's got 50k views. Bloody hell. I hadn't even checked it. Um, where is it? Let me, I can close that off now. Close off VLC. Um, yeah, have a, have a look at this. I think you'll like this. Let me uh, mute the audio here. So I've been hearing that mending books are difficult to fish in Minecraft. 9,000 tries and still nothing? Well, yesterday was World Book Day, so I opened up Minecraft and got to work. I'd be fishing in game whilst my viewers were fishing in chat using the Lurkbait game from Steam. I'd gone in and created a ton of custom items and set their rarities to match Minecraft as closely as possible. And they were getting book after book after book, but luckily, not mending. And you guys want to fish? Lie, I was I getting really that. nervous because it took me 20 minutes until I got my first book. Power four smite four. <laughs> I think Chad got scared then. First book of the day, though. That's a good book as well. More time passed and we were fast approaching the one hour mark when this happened. Oh! I got mending on a bow, but not on a book. That's my luck gone. If you need a bowl, saddle, shell, string, I was your guy. Just not books. Another 25 minutes passed and then eventually somebody crossed the finish line. Wait, hold on. Did you, did you get mending? Oh my god. Well, GG's. <laughs> Chat may have gotten there first, but I was pretty sure I could score an equalizer. So we kept going. Another mending book. I actually saw it this time. GG, Nimble. Damn. So I was down by two when we'd also passed the two hour mark. I was passing the time by reading fan fiction about the live series. By the way, this fan fiction was really, really good. I put it in the comments section. Um, somebody came into stream and mentioned it and we read it. It was awesome. It was uh, people from Scott's channel will love this as well. Because you know, like, there's the whole thing in the fandom about like, um, this person's the moon, this one's the sun, this one's the stars, that kind of thing. All these sort of um, astrological stuff. Um, it was a story about what happened to Scar when he couldn't die at the end of his um win in the life series so it's like a it's like an offshoot it follows the trajectory of my story um that i said and i never realized really how cool. literal the end would be i really liked that what book did i just get oh my god what a way to finish things and then i got it <laughs> oh my god Actual perfection. Check your statistics to see how many times you fished. Took a while. Uh, okay, let's have a look. It took, it took me, me 325, 325 tries to find a mending book. There you go. Granted, with crazy enchantments, but I never in a million years thought that that would happen during the course of a single live stream. There you go. So I've been hearing that mending nice. All right, let me see if this will stay on top. It should do. Let me um quickly close this off. Oh, no, no, don't close that. Keep it there. Is that staying on top? It's not. What was the Windows key again for? Was it Windows Shift and T? Let me make sure Power Toys is loaded up. Power Toys. Give me a second. Oh, it's oh, it's Control T. Sorry. Uh, Control Windows T. Did that work? Yeah, there we go. I got it working. Nice. Let's do Parkour Town. Let me go back to the start here. So if you want to fish, by the way, so this is what we used um, on stream yesterday or day before, day before, I think it was. Um, basically, this is a really cool fishing game called Lurkbait. Uh, and basically, Lurkbait is um, a chat interactivity thing 
So basically, you can stay, say stuff in chat and you can fish for things. There is a default pool of um, items and stuff that you can get. But what I've done is I've gone in and changed it so that the, the loot list basically matches Minecraft's one somewhat closely. The percentages aren't exactly right, but the, the legendary you guys are looking for is a mending book. So you can you can just keep doing exclamation mark fish you can only do it once every 10 minutes once you've done it don't do it again um and i'm sure the queue is already absolutely chock a block but um yeah there you go and i will just continue doing a bit of parkour whilst uh, we do this but yeah but yeah thanks for those of you jumping in for those of you that haven't already you might have seen me around in some of scott and owen's content previously um feel free to press a little little follow follow that'd be lovely um where am i supposed to go to from here by the way Am I supposed to go around this corner? Or am I going to there? Normally it's obvious. I don't. Am I supposed to go to that? <laughs> I've got no idea. I've got no idea where to go from here. Oh, going the wrong way here. This is Parkour Town. This one, yeah. So this is all these maps that I uh, featured today. Not the um, not the the single blocks in the sky one, but all of them are from a uh, one map maker called. Is it pronounced Hielk? h-i-e-l-k-e -E, i want to say it is um but i really like their maps they made a lot of ones called uh parkour spiral and they're really good they're just really cleverly and very compactly designed uh minecraft maps which is um pretty cool we're still getting 1000 kg fish yeah well it's i set all the i set every weight on all of them to a thousand so the weight will often be around 1,000. It's just about who will get the heaviest ones. You know what I mean? Who will get the biggest fish. Oh, you just go up to there. I'm so stupid. I don't know why I didn't think it's go up there. Whoop. Is that a water bubble? Oh, yeah, it is. But yeah, if you guys have got any more concepts for live streams you'd like me to do, then feel free to let me know. I want to try and get more like chat interactivity stuff going. Not even just like, uh, you know, using a program to do stuff, but even just like topical conversational type stuff so if you've got any ideas then feel free to ping them my way and i might use them or i might be a bit transformative with them and go for something a little bit different but yeah i want to do more stuff like that the our relationship advice was a good shout earlier on i don't know man i've i've always found the relationship subreddit to be a bit a bit out of whack oh my god oh no i've perished <laughs> Was I supposed to? I'm not supposed to be able to stand on that. What? Oh, wait. Did somebody get a mending book? Oh, my God. Big wins. GG. I didn't think anybody would get one. That's huge. Is that all the same kind? Or no? Oh, it is. Oh, no. Perish. So, where are you supposed to go to from here, then? There should be some... Oh, that way. Ah. There might be some boots to pick up if you go this way. This map always has like some really like wild. Oh, I found a coin. Ah, I didn't even know coins were a thing on this. I was about to say this map often has some really cool shortcuts and Easter eggs. And as I'm about to say that, you get that. Have you ever explained where In the Littlewood came from? Uh, I mean, yeah, my surname's Littlewood. And my first YouTube channel was called In the Little Woods um, because I wanted to start a vlogging channel because like everybody back in 2005 or 2006 i was watching shay carl and his family charles trippy you know all the all the og vloggers and i was like i want to do that even though i'm an absolute hermit and i have crippling anxiety about going outdoors i was like i can do a, a day in the life vlog even though i'd never do anything awful idea at the time but that's where the username came from so in the little woods was more like you know being in my life and little woods <coughs> was where that came from he's a hermit chat you heard it here first for god's sake uh i'm not a hermit he lied about season 10 i knew it dude do you really think that server could do with any more players on it i i, I don't think it could like genuinely i'm even surprised they've added more people for season 10 like the server is huge I guess they have the benefit of the server is vanilla, which means that, you know, hopefully with enough power, it would run smoothly. Unlike a modded server where it probably would just buckle and crumble and just all fall apart. Uh, where am I going to from here to there? I feel like I've almost gone backwards here, but I don't know if I have. This one has a, a, like a slightly less 
readable fluidity than some of the other maps. That definitely wasn't high enough, was it? Do I go this way, I guess? Yeah, why not? Maybe character Martin accidentally uh, falls into Hermitcraft one day. Maybe. Maybe one day. Nah, I doubt it. Um, right, how do I get higher here? Am I supposed to be able to... Oh. Oh. What the hell? Is that a vanilla thing that you can climb up stalic... Tights? That's the stalic mites. It is. No way. Today I learned. Today I learned, dude. Oh god, I've got to be quick with this one. Oh my god. There we are. Got it. Uh, whoa! Oh my god, that was a gap. <laughs> I just instinctively jumped when I saw the space. Thank god. There we go. Um, go that way. Oh my god, my voice is shot. I'm still not very well at the moment, and doing a, a stream which was predominantly talking for the last two and a half hours is, is probably not the play for my vocal cords, but well worth it. I don't know whether I'm streaming tomorrow. I feel like I probably won't be where it's Mother's Day in the UK. I think we'll be just hanging out as a family tomorrow. So um, I guess my my voice, I don't I don't need a voice for tomorrow. I'm sure my uh, my kids and my wife are sick of hearing my voice anyway. Uh, where am I going here, by the way? Am I going down? That feels like that's not the way I should be going. So you go up, you get to there. I've definitely missed something here. You do that. You go that way. But then you're back to here. I'm guessing maybe I need to do a double bounce to get up to the next bit. So I'll try that. So one bounce, two bounce. Yeah, okay, that was it. Probably go through the painting. It is sometimes that. But not always. Usually it's very apparently a dead end when you've got to go through the painting. That's why I assumed it wasn't, because there was a way of getting back out of there. Oh, I've emerged from a painting then, though. I almost feel like I'm going through the map in reverse now. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, these maps are so cool, dude. I'm so glad somebody told me that they're available on Java as well. Because I've, I've bought all of the ones that I knew were available on, um, on Bedrock Edition. I had no idea they were available on um, on Java for free. Does people knowing your surname cause you problems ever? No, not really. I can't think of a time it's ever caused me an issue. I think the only time a surname like that would have caused me an issue was probably when I was in school. That's got peak bully potential, hasn't it? <laughs> but luckily, never got bullied for it. Oh, life! 220f thank you very much for the sub dude much appreciated yeah sorry if i've missed all of the notifications today obviously where i wanted to have this content be potentially for like tiktok and stuff as well i just muted all notifications so i'll do a run through of all of those at the start of like the next stream or something if that's all good oh boy oh damn it that's a hard fall maybe if i just throw myself into oblivion Am I a lot closer to the top than I thought? Oh my god. Whoa, have I not hit a checkpoint in that long? Oh god. I wonder how it calculates the death there. Because it never seems to happen until you get to the bottom. But I'm landing in water, which is why I'm confused as to how I'm dying. Hmm. Oh, almost made the same mistake again. Oh, made the same mistake again. <laughs> Oh, nearly made a new mistake. Damn. There we are. Oh, also, chat, we are discussing... I don't know if I've even mentioned this. I think I have, right? Have I mentioned that we're doing a, a big Wiggle Wednesday where the Wiggle Wednesday gang, we uh, play Mario Kart and do every single track together? So we're in the process at the minute of uh, getting dates together. So because it's going to be like a five-hour stream, most likely... We just want to make sure that everybody is available for it. Because nobody wants to miss out on it. Because it would just be really fun. So, um, yeah, we're basically uh, trying to figure out what dates everybody's available. So rather than saying like, oh, let's do this date. Let's do that date. And then everyone going, oh, well, I actually can't this day. And I can't this day. I've just told everybody to tell me the days they're not available. 
and then we can just pick from the available ones. You know what I mean? I feel like that makes the most sense. Is there anything up there? Any secrets? We have a quick check. Oh, I can't even get up there anyway. Never mind. Oh, it's because there's a coin up there. That's why. There you go. Nice. Two coins. Now I want to run this again and find all the bloody coins. We got another raid. Who's this one from? Aaron. Thank you very much for the raid, Aaron. Much appreciated. Uh, that seems like a good idea. Let's go for it. Oh, okay. Cheesed it. Oh. Have I just done it in reverse? <laughs> I think I have. I was doing it just to meme a little bit. Oh, wait. That, that is actually the way out. That's really funny. He who dares wins, apparently. Am I that close? Oh, wait. Is this the end? I was hoping I'd get to finish this by the end. It looks like I probably... Will! Aha! We got it! Nice! Well, perfect way to end things. Ended this stream at exactly half past. We got a mending book. We did loads of Am I the Arseholes. We've got a concept for next time where we can do rats and, um, and pirate swans. And everything's groovy. I'll take that. I'll take that as a win. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Those of you watching over on YouTube, cheers for watching. I'm going to cut you off straight away because I don't have anybody that I can raid. Uh, so, bye.